Greetings, fellow traveler. And now I'd like to discuss the parable of the prodigal son. It's found in Luke chapter 15, uh, verses 11 through 32, I believe. Depending on the Bible that you have. But I'm bringing this up because <laughs> it helped me a lot in my life uh, through a certain period. More so because at this point in time when uh, I really began to connect with God more, understand myself more, uh, I came across this parable and the times I heard it in my life, I took it literal. So even at this time or this point of change in my life, I took it to be something literal. And to an extent it is. Uh, it's not something I believe is historical. Directly. But I say it plays out and we play the part of each character in this parable. For myself. Yeah. <laughs> it was life changing. For those that are not familiar with the parable of the prodigal son, uh, please Google it, go to your Bible, check it out. It's a cool read, cool story. Uh, for those who are familiar, I'll say it like this. I took the story so literal that I believed and I was operating from the older son. By that I mean I had given such a blind devotion to my father in a certain respect, to my earthly father, that I believed I was deserving of his love, his respect, his inheritance, no matter what that was. I believed I was owed that because I stayed by his side or I stayed around to do his bidding uh, in the city that he's from. I call it my hometown because it's just the longest I've ever lived anywhere in my life, but it's his hometown. This is the place to raise him. So in operating from the position of the older brother, I have two brothers, and one of them went away. Uh, my younger brother, he's actually my twin, but I'm the oldest. Ironically, just as it fits in the story. He went away, and any time he came back, he celebrated. No matter what he does, he celebrated. I have a couple of times where things, you know, it might be judged this way and that way, but it was like if he did it, cool. Now, for myself, I was met with a lot of criticism from when we were children all the way up to now. I was met with a lot of criticism. When I had a decision to live with my father, live with my mother, I lived with my father. To me, this is being loyal. I wanted to go learn to be a man from a man, all these type of things. But as I've matured along my journey, it was understanding of, you know what, I'm owed this because I stood by his side. Now in the story of the prodigal son, we see jealousy come up when the younger brother returns and is celebrated for and all these things. At a point in my life, that's where I was. I was angry at the world. Uh, I was understanding myself more, which is breed more anger because I was beating myself up for seeming failures. But I came to a point where I had a moment of clarity. The moment of clarity was, if it is true that I play out all these characters, and this is not literal. This does. This is not written in stone that I have to remain this jealous individual. Then what do I do? Well, first I took inventory yourself. And I said, is there anything that you're truly jealous of? It's not a problem with your brother. So what's the problem with your father? And it came down to just as the story said, like I've been by your side all this time. And you treat me as if I owe you this, but this is my choice. So I had to, I had to own that. Now the gift in that was getting to the point of knowing my true power. 
Now, by this, I mean, I thought the parable was telling me that I have to stay by my father, my earthly father, but it wasn't. The parable was telling me that my father is God, the universe, the infinite, the most high. That is my father. See, no matter what I do in my life, I will be forgiven. I am, I am given grace. It's already presented to me. So no matter what I do on this earth, while I'm in this meat suit, I'm eternally forgiven. And when I come home to my spiritual father, I will not only be celebrated, but I will be sat down at the head of the table to tell my story to all. That's the point of life. That's the point in the journey. Now this, this helped me in so many ways because I was able to not only give myself grace, but I was also able to take it a step further. I said, okay, let's, let's look at this parable again. I've been the, I've been the younger brother too. As weird as it sounds, because I reflect back on conversations the last time I did speak with my brothers, well, especially my younger brother. And I was always held in a certain regard in his eyes because I stuck it out. I stayed around the family. I stayed around our father. I was helpful to anybody who needed help in the capacity that I could offer. And he looked at me with a sense of, oh, uh, don't say respect. And he acknowledged it a couple of times, like, yeah, but I don't know how you did it, but hey, that's cool. So going back to the parable, I've been both. I, I've been the one that went out and squandered the other brother because I went out, I did certain things while I was around here that, I mean, I had to learn, got my knocks and blocks, cool. But yet it's still that I was forgiven and not by my earthly father, by my heavenly father. And then I had a period of resonating with the older brother. And it's like, oh man, I'm jealous, but my younger brother's getting, no matter what he does, nobody is judging him as critically as they judge me. So that jealousy was there. I've been both. And at a certain point in my life, I don't, I don't say that I'm there yet, but I know it's destined, then I will copy that heavenly father. I will personify that element, which is simply forgiveness. Oh, look at that. Thoughts of things. I just had an epiphany right here in front of y'all. I am the heavenly father now. I'm not your God, but I'm the God of my life. I wouldn't be where I am today if I wasn't able to give myself forgiveness, give myself grace, and still strive to be better and better that. Not to be perfect, but to strive to emulate my heavenly father. That was a cool moment to share with y'all. So once again, the parable of the prodigal son, I do believe it's a uh, it's an excellent read. It's an excellent read. If anything is something great to a uh, spark a period of reflection for oneself. It has helped me. I'm sure it will help me many more times uh, as I move on my journey. But I share it with you because it's, it's been on my mind for a couple of days. And it's helpful to simply be honest in how it impacted me on my journey. Good, bad, or indifferent. I don't judge it. I just accept it for what it is. And that's okay. And I know that just as I found my own type of experience with it and will have many more, you were destined to have the same experience as well. You might not even have brothers, sisters. It's cool. You might not even know your earthly father. Cool. It doesn't matter. We all play a part. There's no way of escaping that. I want to leave it there for now. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.